Hey guys, Josh Carter here with One Objective Outdoors. In today's video, I'm going to show you two new baits I just got in the mail, so stay tuned. Alright guys, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm going to show you two new baits I just got in the mail. Before we do that, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. We're a new channel. We just got started with this side of it. Uh, we are, you know, we have the One Objective Bass Fishing. Um, this is One Objective Outdoors. And this is all going to be mainly fishing and tackle videos, tackle rigging, and all that stuff. So just make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let's go ahead and dig into these. Alright, so we just got into glide bait fishing. I mean, we're not pros at this by no means um, just starting to kind of get into it trying all kinds of different glide bait stuff that's not super expensive we haven't spent a lot of money on it yet um, but you know with the um, technology we got out there now with live scope and all that stuff you know you can watch these baits you can see what they're doing you can make sure that you're not going to rush it right into the top of a treetop it still can happen but it's just the chances of it are a lot lower now instead of just blind casting these things out there. So, but the ones that I've ordered here are like in that six, six inch range. I think this is a perfect size for, you know, uh, starting out into this. I know a lot of guys throw some really big swim baits, have some really good setups for that. Right now, I think these baits here, you don't have to go crazy with a setup like you do with some of these bigger baits. Um, but I think this is just the perfect starter size and we got baits all the way and I, and I can do a video if you're interested in seeing that what all our what all glide baits and swim baits we got bigger baits but um, these two here I'm just really impressed with the quality because they're not as expensive as some of these three and four hundred dollar uh, swim baits that you see or glide baits that you see on the internet right now and the paint job and the craftsmanship of it is really good so I haven't got these out on the water yet but just getting them in the first appearance of them I was really impressed with them so all right the first one we got here is a Mr. Zorba I hope I'm saying that right it's Mr. Z-O-R-B-A uh, I have a link in the description here uh, it's like an Italian I think he is in Italy or something like that where this bait is actually um painted and made and all that but I mean I'll, I'll try to get a better picture here but if you just look at the detail of this bait and this is his American American shad color um, the hooks that come on this bait are super super sticky I mean super sharp I mean they grab whatever touches them um, but I mean just the craftsmanship of it the paint job I, I was really impressed with it like I say I've never fished it yet I haven't I mean I just got these um, but you know I'm, like I said, I'm not a glide bait professional. So playing with different glide baits, I see what some of the other ones are doing. This one here, I think it was like in the $80 range. It's it's not as expensive as like some of those $300 baits, but it's still a lot of money if you hang it up in a tree. It kind of, you know, make you want to go throw up over the side of the boat if you lose it. So make sure you throw it on good line. You know, I, I like throwing sunline. I'll probably throw it either on a mono or floor, uh, you know, I've been throwing a lot of stuff on fluorocarbon and especially in the clear lakes here at Smith Mountain Lake, you can't really get away with braid too much on, on these kind of baits. So I'll probably throw it like on a fluorocarbon. Depends on what I wanted to sink, you know, how I want it to sink. If I want it to kind of have a slower sink or not really sink much at all, you know, you can go with mono. Fluorocarbon is going to allow that thing to be able to sink a little bit more. Um, but, you know, that's... That's small adjustments. You just need to get there and play with these things and figure out what you like and what the fish are like and what the depths they're at. So, um, but like I say, this is just just a really nice bait. I just I'm really impressed with it. Um, even down to the um, fin on the side of it, you can really see the lines down the fin and all that. It's just a it just did a really good job. Good craftsmanship on that bait. Um, and then this one is the Bigs. This is the Denali. Uh, like I say. I, the paint job on this is really nice too. I was actually a little leery about the hooks because it kind of looked like saltwater hooks to me. But I'm going to tell you what, you can get saltwater hooks and they can be sharp, but these things are super, super sharp. And like I say, I don't know if they're saltwater hooks or not, um, but I will tell you this, they are insanely sharp. But um, I like the tail, like the, the paintbrush style um, tail on this. This one here is in the uh, $100 right at the hundred dollar range um this is where you're starting to kind of get into those i know this one at 80 is already expensive i know that but this one you're starting to kind of get into that 100 120 150 dollar range you know um this one like I say is 100 um he has some other baits on there that that gets you know gets on up there but 
they're probably well worth it. It's a lot of time in these paint jobs. It's a lot of time in making these things and building them and then, you know, making sure they run right and all that stuff. But he's just got some pretty cool details to the bait that kind of make it his own. That's the one thing I do like about it. Um, there's some baits out there that look identical to one another. Um, he did a really good job on, like, say, making some of these baits his own. Um, but, I mean, you can tell the difference in how much these baits, I mean, from what I've read and what I understand and, and playing with these other ones is how, how, how much you're going to get, how much chop you're going to get out of it by just the angles that are cut, how much angle that has. So, as you can see, both of them have got a pretty decent one, but this one, the Biggs has got a little bit more. It's a little bit bigger bait than the big. I mean, uh, the Biggs is a little bit bigger bait than the uh, Mr. Zorba, but not by much. But I mean, I think these baits are perfect size to kind of get started in the glide bait, so you're not like a super big bait. Now, if you live somewhere in Texas where you have all these big monster fish, this bait is, pro I mean, um, those baits are probably perfect for it. But and I mean, I'm sure these will still do just as good. But here in Virginia, we have those big fish in certain lakes. And, um, but you know, your chances of hooking up several times is not gonna be as good as like some of them other lakes. But yeah, I do know that this is one of those things you're, you know, like a jig you got and you, you're looking for five big bites. You could possibly get five big bites on this through the day. I just know around here with my luck, I'm looking for one big bite a day with this. So if I got a limit, pretty decent limit, I wanna go get one big bite, this is probably what I'm gonna be doing, having my other buddy flipping the jig around. So, um, but anyways, I just wanted to show you guys some baits we got in. I really wanted to show the craftsmanship of these and just so you guys know to check them out because like say, we've scoured the internet trying to find some decent looking glide baits that wasn't $300. And I'm not saying those baits ain't worth it, I'm just saying at the moment, we don't want to spend that kind of money when we're just kind of getting into glide bait fishing. So um, we scoured the internet all over Instagram, Facebook, all that, and found Biggs, and I found uh, Mr. Zorba's, or Zorbies, or I, I don't know, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Um, but anyways, great customer service with both of them. Um, if you got any questions, you can reach out to them. They get with you pretty quickly, you know, on what baits you think will work good, and actions and all this stuff they're 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 very good at customer service so but anyways i'll put a link down at the bottom and then that way y'all go check them out yourselves i know biggs custom baits he was doing a, a release every thursday so you just check with him on thursdays and but you gotta do it quick because i was actually trying to get a different one and it sold out by the time i was even finished the process of checking out so but other than that guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up button and share this video with your friends i'll talk to you later guys see you